Hey, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, the US, um, a US fighter has shot down another high altitude object. Um, they've not actually said this is a balloon. They're just calling it an unidentified flying object at this point off the coast of Alaska, less than a week after a high altitude Chinese surveillance, which we covered a little bit on this channel, um, was a balloon was shot down off the south coast of Carolina. Um, John Kirby um, hesitated this time though, um, to describe it as a balloon. We're calling this an object, he said, and that's the best description we have right now. So, you know, it's unidentified when they show it down. So, this one, obviously flying at a lower altitude, 40,000 feet, was more of a threat to air traffic, and that's the reason why they've decided just to shoot this down. Um, so, the US military shot down a second high altitude object in American airspace, this time off the coast of Alaska on Friday. The White House has announced the mission occurred less than a week after a high altitude Chinese surveillance balloon was shot down off the coast of South Carolina. The White House spokesperson, John Kirby, hesitated to characterize the aircraft as a balloon, saying we're calling this an object because that's the best description we have right now. He also said US officials did not yet know which nation or group was responsible for it. The object was destroyed by a missile from an F-22 fighter plane off the far right northeastern coast of Alaska, Kirby said at the White House press briefing. So another F-22 doing what it needs to do. The US military first became aware of the object on Thursday night. President Joe Biden gave the order to shoot it down on Friday morning, which was carried out shortly after noon. And the craft was flying at approximately 40,000 feet in altitude, which is lower than the balloon last week, and it was the size of a small car, he said. So unlike the balloon shot down on Saturday, the latest object did not appear to possess any manoeuvrability, Kirby said. So this actually didn't get mentioned in the last video, but the last balloon must have had um, had propellers on it. It had like um, some sort of manoeuvring propellers, so it could actually manoeuvre. It wasn't just blown by the wind. Okay, the larger um, previous balloon was permitted to float across the United States for a week before Biden gave the order to shoot it down. The Pentagon defending that decision at the Senate hearing on Thursday, telling lawmakers that the spy balloon's primary value to the US military lay in what could be learned from its flight course and its debris. Um, a key part of the calculus for this operation was the ability to salvage, understand and exploit the capabilities of the high altitude balloon, said Assistant Secretary of the Defence, Melissa Dalton. Um, another factor influencing the decision to let the previous balloon remain in the air for so long uh, was it was a pro it was flying at approximately 60,000 feet in altitude where it did not pose an immediate threat to civilian aircraft. Commercial airliners typically cruise at an altitude of 35,000 feet. So the object that was shot down on Friday was floating at 40,000 feet. This created obviously a reasonable threat to air safety. So they decided to just shoot that down um, straight away. So we don't know what they used to shoot down the uh, this object obviously to, uh, today, but. The last balloon got shot down by an AIM-9X Sidewinder, which is an infrared-guided air-to-air missile um, by an F-22 fighter jet from Virginia's Langley Air Base. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they're not even wasting a couple of, uh, you know, gun rounds at this. They're literally just firing a missile at it. But anyway, that's it for the uh, unidentified flying object. Hopefully we find out what that is at some point in the next couple of days, or they identify it and, um, you know, share that news with us. Again... Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm keeping up to date with everything that's going on. And if I find out anything interesting, I'll let you guys know on the channel. And I'll see you next time.